Welcome right. everyone to Spill the Mother <laughs> Podcast. Uh, shut the fuck up, episode. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Me, I'll show you. <laughs> Can we ever have a normal idea? Come on, take off. Oh my god. On this podcast. Take him up on her and call me Sally. No. Call my saggy children, call me Jimmy Neutron. Okay, yes, I'm, 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 what right, are you doing in my podcast? Alright. <laughs> I am, I'm joined by my co-host, Yen. Write this video right now or have seven Byron, years of Byron, bad luck. Shut the fuck up. Write this video right now or have a spider in your bed tonight. <laughs> okay, shut up. I'm joined by my co-host, Yen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's it, done. And my that's... other co-host, Byron. Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> and, uh, and today's special guest, uh, Trey Hughes, a uh, big TikTok star, big boy. Big boy. I'm five foot eight. What Mate. is that? In... Every yeah. girl's gonna reject you now. You've just. I'm five foot. Oh, you've been done. <laughs> as soon as you say five foot, you get rejected. There. I'm like seven foot two, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what she said. Wait, I'm what? A big giant boy. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, today we're talking about TikTok, um, um, basically, like, the massive epidemic that is TikTok, essentially, it's just blown out of proportion completely, it's just huge now. So, it, it went from basically being Musical.ly, I don't know if you guys remember Musical.ly, but... I think we all do, we weren't yeah, born, <laughs> sadly, in, we weren't sadly, born we in the 90s. I do, but I, I never knew that Musical.ly became TikTok, I never oh. knew that happened. I never oh, knew that shit, ever okay. happened. You were the TikTok star. <laughs> yeah, no, I never knew that actually happened, and then I was like, "Wait a minute, this makes you sense. uncultured swine." <laughs> yeah, you gotta get up to date on your mate. That, that's like our catchphrase here. I swear. <laughs> no, Ryan, you've got to say the the disciples. What is your the fucking disciples? What disciples, Ryan? Oh yes, disciples from the last video. Okay. <laughs> so basically. Um, musically was just like there's probably people watching that are like following you trade that don't even know what the fuck mu tri musically is. So basically, musically was essentially TikTok but worse. It was like people lip syncing and it was so cringy. People like there was no transitions in. There was like oh nobody knew how to use yeah, transitions. There was no transitions. It was just people lip syncing and trying to look cute moving and like, their hands. moving their quiffs and shit it was oh, it's so yeah. gay yeah it was the epidemic. era oh. of jacob sartorius oh. lauren gray baby ariel <laughs> uh, <laughs> the bits that had no funny. eyebrows and everyone said look she looked like mona lisa <laughs> i don't know her name Daniel Cohn or Con, I mean, whatever her name is. I mean, Jacob's Torius came out of it, and then he started making music. Like, why? His music Ew. is terrible. The, the more bad. times you say that name, the more brain cells I lose. Or Dan. <laughs> what about Danielle Cohn? Da she I've made. She started. She. I'm assuming oh, that's a thing. Oh, oh, I'll tell you. So she's like this 13 year old who says she's 15, right? And there was a lot of like. She okay. was the one that she was the kid that blew up because, like, she said she was pregnant and getting married at fifteen, even though she's oh, actually thirteen. No. Yeah, she came from you, too. Not that. Oh, Imagine what that. Is wrong with them. Yeah, they didn't they're actually get UK, married and have a kid. What's wrong with them? No, they, they're not. They're not. To have a baby and getting married for views. They're American. Actually, yeah. To be honest, if it got as many views as that, to be honest, that's probably. And the guy, it. the guy Mikey, was sixteen, and he recently broke up with her because his parents found her birth certificate or something and saw that she was thirteen, and then they Ooh. showed him, and was like, "Um, you need to break up with her. You're sixteen, seventeen. She's thirteen. That's illegal." <laughs> So, so he broke were up they with her. smashing? <laughs> I mean, probably. I mean, well, they were together Georgia, for like a year. Oh my god. Oh, they were together for like a year, and he thought she was 15, and he's 16. I mean, okay, what 15, so 16 year old isn't smashing? So technically, it's not really his fault. Cause she oh no, it's him. not his fault. It's not his fault at all. And he broke oh, no, up with her as soon as was like proof. Something where something shouldn't go into a 13 year old. That sounds a little pedo, if you ask me. Like I mean, he didn't know though. Mm. It's like these girls that go into clubs with fake IDs and then they go home with someone uh, and then they claim rape. They're just like, he raped me. Yeah, uh, that's fucked. Yeah, it's basically fraud. 
It's like, hey, let's just watch it. If you're going into a club and you hook up with someone, you can't say it's rape because you've lied about your age to get in there. It, unless you did not give consent, unless it's fully, like, you know, like, they mm. actually fucking forced you, then that's rape. But just saying because they had sex with you because you're underage, that's not rape. Like, if you using a fake ID to get in and you get yourself into that mess, it's your fault. Oh, so, yeah. Didn't that guy realize something was off when the girl didn't have a period? Like, did he not realize something was off? Oh my god. I mean, she's 13 and I started my period at 12, so like... Oh, Jesus. Yo, that's and nice. also, I mean, I mean, even if you're in a relationship, the guys... You could literally just say to a guy, oh, I'm on my period. He's not exactly gonna check, yeah. is he? So, like, yeah, she could have just true. easily lied about that. Oh, well, you, know, <laughs> you just say it. Eventually, we'll just add up the days and months and we'll figure it out when it is. Oh, like, oh yeah, but no, God. what? He wouldn't do that, <laughs> though, would wrong. he? Because, like, no guy really... Like, when people were saying, oh, you should have checked it, you should have, like, confirmed her age. Who the fuck does that when they get into a relationship? They don't confirm right, I don't really care the age. I like, I like to know when it's about to happen because you're going to be in a pissier mood. But... Uh, yeah, I guess. But I she could care. easily just lie away out of that. Or she could easily say she doesn't get periods because I didn't get my period for, like, a year. Uh, and I'm 17, so... Wait, were you... Uh, you know what? Right. No, I'm not. I've no. got, I've got some information for you, Jan. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, I was not pregnant. I just had low iron. You sure about that? I'm oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what is this becoming? We. Oh, we'll cut this out. So yeah, congratulations, Jan. <laughs> we'll cut this out. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Neither. <laughs> I'm the host of this fucking podcast, and I don't even know what my guests are fucking talking about. Get a low on you. I guess uh, I am just consistent. Uh, well, it's a new, new topic. Okay, TikTok, how it blew up. Uh, <laughs> so, so basically, TikTok just, like, come out of nowhere, essentially. Like, it got rebranded. Everyone was like, nah, this is gonna be shit. And then, like, all these, like, ironic memes and just all these No, here's where it came from. came out of it. Guys up. figured out that's where all the hot girls were, and so all the guys got on the all app the and started making and content, e and then everybody, oh God. everybody flocked to TikTok. Yo, yeah. You're, you're, you're like, a full-on like e though, Trey. Like, you didn't even oh, lie. Oh, oh, God. Uh, okay, alright. Alright, whatever. Here we go, here we go. He's like, next question, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can only be an e-boy if you have the e-boy style, and I don't think Trey has the e-boy style, but Alex, uh, the guy I was talking about earlier, he's an e-boy. I mean, e -boy. maybe I have an e-boy style, but you just don't know where it is. Not huh? Not. I mean, <laughs> uh, Trey, like, what's it like being, like, her uh, so huge on TikTok and stuff? Uh, honestly, there's too many girls. <laughs> it just gets to that extent. I mean, it's nice. I mean, it, it's nice. It's nice to have the, all that attention and whatnot, but it just, it just gets to points where it gets annoying. I calm down. Your Snapchat. <laughs> and it Part, your yeah, Snapchat. yeah, literally breaks it. Like over six thousand people on my Snapchat, I had to unadd. I'm still. <laughs> off. It takes. Oh, so weird, long. Okay. I mean, uh. All right. Yeah, it, I remember you saying to me like it's like every snap. Well, not every snap you get, but a lot of the snaps you get, like you just open them from new people you don't know. They just be nudes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yikes. That happens. That happens. I mean, I see, like I never knew girls did that. Like, I thought it was only guys yeah. that sent like random nudes. I never thought girls did that. Well, oh like, no, it happens it's... when you're this, you're that far up the scale. I, that started happening when I had like 30k. That started. Oof. I mean, like, and then it just hey. got rough. When I'm after on TikTok. <laughs> when you're when you're a guy, you just sitting like digs everywhere. Like, it's pretty bad. Like, girls don't really like that, and it, like they fucking hate it, you know. Or they screenshot it, and they'll be like, "Yo, what the fuck's going on?" Like all this shit. But like, if you're a girl sending it to a guy randomly, like guys just don't care. They're like, "Okay, cool, thanks. Like this is amazing. Like, oh my god." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just never knew that happen. Like it happens to my boyfriend sometimes. Like he'll get like random nudes from like like he got a message of a girl being like, "Oh, wanna trade nudes?" And I was like, "What?" The f like I didn't know that girls actually did that because like I would never just ask a random guy to trade nudes. That's just weird. Yeah. But yeah, I, apparently I it actually happens. Yeah. I was like, I feel like that bear before. You used to only really hear about like desperate men doing like all these desperate, disgust, like stupid shit for like yeah. women, and I feel like now. Women have started joining in on this shit too, and it's mm. like, it's getting to the point where we're in like a fucking generation full of really strange shit, and people just yeah not knowing how to socialize with each other and not like understanding relationships in the slightest. Mm. I mean, it's at the point where <laughs> yeah, it's crazy shit. 
Don't like I get it on Instagram quite a lot, where I'll just like get an Instagram DM because I check all my requests. Even <coughs> if I have like a lot of requests, I'll still check them all, and I'll just get random nudes, and I'm just like, um, didn't ask for that. Now you're blocked. You know? Mm, yeah, I know what you mean like. If you're a guy and like you get one from someone who's like good looking, like you don't really complain, like you kind of yeah, just, you know, uh, you kind of just do it. I guess so. Uh, but you also need to be careful because you don't know, like I don't, I never do that though because you don't know how old they are. You're not sure how, like I don't have my age on Instagram. For all they know, I could be fourteen. They're just sending news to a fourteen year old. Yeah, that is. I think yeah, guys do that and are risky, like especially when it's like people under eighteen or as well. But what's it got to do with TikTok? Over eighteen and they're like not sure about ages and shit. If they do it, they're just asking to be put on a list because yeah, risky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, a name. <laughs> <coughs> okay, oh, I, I, I might uh, clip the, the name out there or bleep it. <laughs> Yeah, bleep the name. Just bleep it. Before we get done for like fucking, I don't know. Uh, what's just the word? bleep slander. Yeah, that's it. Uh, just bleep it. Yeah, we'll bleep. We'll bleep the name. <coughs> uh, we'll, we'll give him a fake name. Fucking Bill Bob. There we go. Yeah, no, Bill Bob. Bob. Call him Pepper. <laughs> Pepper. 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 What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Sending nudes to thirteen-year-olds. Oh, okay, all right, all right. The one time I never asked. Okay, we we start here. It was this random person admin. They're eleven years old, right? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> it. What? Dude, uh, what is going on with our generation? I don't what the know, hell? Dude. That's why I said let's bleep it out. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. That. I'm keeping that in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. So let's get it straight. The 11 year old added you, you. can't even come back on you because it's not your fault. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's but, true. like, but like, it's still going to throw bad on my name. You know? I don't want to do that. Trust me, it won't. Alright, well, when I get like, my parents will be like, oh, let me see your phone. It's like, oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, about that. Oh. I mean, I'm pretty sure Pepper would have been more than happy to see that, <laughs> but like, uh -oh. he would have been more than happy, but, oh. you know. Okay, I think we need to get out of this before this goes. Yeah, to a new place topic. We can't help <laughs> ourselves, <laughs> <laughs> and we just get banned. The podcast just gets fucking just shut down. Oh my god, Our career's over. Oh my god. As far as like TikTok goes, like it's completely blown up because of like all the compilations, realistically, and all the memes that have come out of it. Like I think one of the first memes to come out of it was like that Overwatch one, wasn't it? It was like the oh, yeah. Yeah. Tracer and all that shit. Oh that yeah, maybe I'll be Tracer. I'm already yeah. Tracer. Uh, Say that, yeah. there was a lot of ads. I'm singing that, we're going to get copyright strike now. Well done. Uh, <laughs> we're copyright striked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you're monetized. Yeah, to be fair, I'm not, I can't even get monetized at the minute. It's depressing. <laughs> it's actually depressing. Like, Yikes. Get me to 1k sub, boys. <laughs> on the last video. I mean, wait, what? I said, me and you got copyrighted on the last video. Yeah, we did. I had to re-edit that. Like, I had to redo it and then upload it again. Copyrighted for. <laughs> I got copyrighted for using five seconds of Trey's TikTok, the music. Oh. Yeah, sure did. yeah, I literally used the five seconds that was in his video, and I got copyrighted for it. Rest in peace. It's what if I could? Like, it's not even like I'm monetized. It's not even like I'm profiting off their song, and it's not even like their song was for the entirety of the video. It's five goddamn seconds. Rest in what peace. Like, and the compilation have just blown it up massively. And then obviously you've got like all these YouTubers reacting to them. I, I think at the start there was YouTubers reacting to it, like all the cringe compilations and shit. So that's just helped it expand even more. It says he's Be talking like there's a green screen. Yeah, what the crap? Yeah, basically all the compilations have just helped it blow up massively. And it's become crazy because you've got like people like Belle Delphine. Uh, what's some oh, dear me. I can't even think of many, to be honest. Did you uh, go fight yeah. She's not even a TikToker. She, she well, used this... to be, right? Oh, I think she did, actually. I think she was banned off yeah. TikTok. She did it, but she got banned because she was too sexy. I know she was on Instagram, but I don't know about TikTok. Man, yeah, yeah. She, she was banned from TikTok. She was too sexual and stuff. And then Belle from that, Delphine, she's just yeah, built her career from that. Yeah, she, she's kind of flopped now, though, after her Instagram story, yeah. because no one cares about her anymore. After the bathwater, she flopped. After the bathwater, she flopped. I don't think it was because of the bathwater. I think it was because of the Pornhub thing. 
No, I don't think it was because of any of that. I think after she got like banned off Instagram, that was it. That was the end of her career. Yeah. Because like no, I like the, I reckon it's the porn up thing. Because like she didn't really make a comeback. Like no one knows her like new Instagram. Like she hasn't got a confirmed new Instagram. I don't even think she's back on Instagram. I don't know. It could be wrong, but I don't know. When you type in Belle Duffy yeah. only fan account. I know, like, it's basically everyone was just, like, bumming off her so much. Like, the problem that I had was there was YouTubers making videos about her or with her or, like, talking about her, which is just spreading more, um, more, like, attention and more clout their way when they mm. do not deserve it because they're just doing, like, shit. That, that right, okay, so I'm actually talking about Will and E here. Um, I mean, kind of. He did make a video on it popularizing her, which did not help. Like, he, he kind of shouldn't have done that, but at the same time, the videos were entertaining. So, I guess if it's entertaining... It's not like, 10 mil views from that. But the, yeah, but the problem is, it created more attention towards her, so <clears throat> she ended up getting more of a following. Like, right. he, he makes, he makes solid enough. videos, but just, like, promoting someone like that, well, it's not really promoting them, but making videos around it, gets them more following in the, in the whole process. I mean, <laughs> Belle Dauphine isn't someone... Like, I understand why she's famous, but she's one of those people that I wish she wasn't famous because I knew of her before she blew up and she's not a nice person. Yeah. She's... Wait, what? There's more about her before she blew up? I mean, I don't know much about her because I didn't really care about her before she blew up, but we, she was on Facebook. She was quite... Not popular on Facebook, but she was like known on the facebook community because there's a community on facebook of people that know each other and a lot of people know it like everyone knows each other and i'm on there and she was on there and a lot of people a lot of my friends who knew her and who had her on a friends list and stuff like that will tell you all the same thing she was not a nice person she was actually quite bitchy and quite rude really? and quite up her own ass and then when she got famous that only fueled that and she went off facebook she followed me on her she had an instagram account right which was her like personal personal can't remember what it was called for the life of me but it was her instagram that she used before she blew up so it was like confirmed to be her and she followed oh, me shit. and a few other people on there and then after she blew up someone i know i'm not going to name that person because i don't want them to get into trouble or anything but her um, was called a bell delphine wannabe and because that person doesn't like bell as a lot of us do um she exposed bell's personal instagram oh, shit. being like being like, oh wow, you're gonna call me the Belle Delphine wannabe, but who's following who? Like she, oh like God. Belle was following her, but she wasn't following Belle because she doesn't like her. And then after that, Belle unfollowed us all and then um, deleted that account. Oh wow, okay, that's yeah. Didn't even know that. That's learned something new here. Yeah. But yeah, she's pretty much got famous. <laughs> from, she's basically got famous from hoeing it out and like. Oh yeah. Getting like horny kids to basically just go. Through yeah, it. she's, she's, got, she's got, got like a premium Snapchat and some shit. I don't know, but yeah, she did. Um, if she I, not lie, profited. If I was a girl, I premium Snapchat. I'm just saying. She profited off <laughs> a lot of. Um, <laughs> she profited off something a lot of other e girls profit off, which is orbiters. Um, I don't know if you know what orbiters are, but they're no. a term for Elaborate desperate guys. Oh, okay. That, like, uh... So basically, beta males. Bleak beta is male, but basically <laughs> a beta male yeah, who beta sees males. an attractive girl and then will orbit her until... In hopes that she'll like them back. That's who oh. she profited off. And that ties in with that Bianca Devins girl that we're going to talk about in another video. That yeah. was one of the reasons that she met her demise, my friend. Was because that, she... Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. But, like, girls that do that, like, profit off that, and they, like, lead guys on, because they like the... Well, hang on, hang on. Like, you just said you have a premium girls. Snapchat if you're a girl. Okay, okay, alright. I'm going exactly, to have to address mate. this now. I'm going to have to address this now. Basically... <laughs> <laughs> if you were a girl... You tell Which me you would not have... Okay, not well, not you then, because obviously <laughs> you wouldn't do it. But, um, like, Byron, Trey, if you were a girl, would you have a premium Snapchat? Uh, I have integrity. Um, I might as well have one myself. I'm a guy, but, like, I might as well have one myself. <laughs> Yo, to be fair, you could probably start one with the amount of people that you get added in your Snapchat. I really could. 
actually mm. make one. Like, if I was a girl, I had, I'd have one. I mean, if a beta male is willing to pay fucking money for something that they can get for free two clicks away, then... Uh, oh, it's really bizarre. bizarre. It's not even about that, though. Like, a lot of people say, like, I don't know why boys will pay when it's free on Pornhub and stuff. But the thing is, the reason they pay is because they want something so personal. Like, when it's someone you look up to, which is weird, like like I said, Orbiters, when Orbiters see this attractive girl that they want, they're going to pay her for something more personal instead of just going on porn. Because mm. pers yeah. something personal is more right. valuable than something um, that you can get for free. That's, that's why guys right. are willing to pay. Yeah, it, personal experiences, I guess, are better. But if it's at the point where you're being a beta male and you're begging and like getting like really weird about it, it's that oh, that's when it becomes a problem. The amount, of, the amount of times I've been offered money, I was offered literally last week. I was offered five hundred for my uh, okay, nah. female genitalia down you there. One it. picture. Five hundred. I was an easy five hundred G's. Man. I'm underage. I'm underage. Do you know how much trouble? That's like, a shite because... reason. That is fucking pathetic. So take, take the money. And underage. Then, take the money. No. And then, uh, like file a lawsuit no. against them. <laughs> never, 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 never. Hell, uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hang on, hang on, Ryan. You said you did that anyway. On, I'm intrigued. Hey, what? <laughs> Tell you off the podcast. Anyways, so, uh, Trey, yeah. you're the uh, yeah. guest of honor here. Tell us a bit about like uh, how your TikTks going, when you joined, how you blew up, and all that shit. Give us, give us a bit of an autobiography. Basically, so I started in May off a of dare, and I was just screwing around. I made a dumb TikTok. I deleted my first TikTok. By the way, your first uh tiktok is fucking funny like uh, it's so random I, but i love I it i did I, i'm serious i broke my bed like doing that and Yo, so that was the first tiktok and i'd like it was supposed to like open up the door i put you like to something the floor. yeah and basically so, guys and he walks up to his, he, he storms open his door walks over to the camera like really awkwardly just slams his phone on the bed and he stares at his phone before he turns the snap before he turns like the fucking recording off it's brilliant <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's pretty it's i just know how awkward it is it's brilliant <laughs> this is extremely awkward and that was my first TikTok. i deleted it now i still have the video of it though but oh no you deleted uh, it yeah oh, I, did. Mate, I mean that was a classic I, I, like, <laughs> cleanse my page completely anything below like three that three or 1300 likes got deleted oh. um but basically that happened and i saw since i had people on snapchat i used to do a ton of shout outs and all kinds of stuff and then my yeah. phone would be blown up all the time but i had everybody on snapchat go and support me anyways and that happened and it blew up a little bit more and then i started making dumb videos and then I had the idea, oh wait, maybe I can make dumb videos without a shirt on. And oh. that, oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> that, that's where everything clicked, and like, there it went. It I bet it did, I bet it did. So essentially, <laughs> essentially like, you realized, you, so Trey, correct me if I'm wrong, essentially you realized, if you take a <laughs> shirt off and show like your abs and like, you know, everything like that, you were going to get girls that are like, really uh interested to say the least to yeah uh, pretty much to your page, yeah essentially that's how that worked and that's how it's still working you've heard it here first <laughs> oh, a question for trey. Yeah. so yeah. so trey you don't really care about people seeing that by like, taking a piss out of it nope. Nope. you know nope <laughs> i mean to be fair they can't really take it's got 60k yeah, I know. Like, it's like make fun of it all you want, but I'm making money. Yeah, like what, what are they gonna say? I, 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 you take shirt off, you have sixty k lol. Like, what are they gonna say? Uh, well, I'm I'm not talking about that. So, sorry, Trey, you said you make money from it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Doing Snapchat. <laughs> okay. So, um, I feel like this ties. Wait, 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 you know, question. Trey, how do you make money from TikTok? Uh, you can do one of two things. TikTok can email you, and they can ask you to use a sound. And if you use a certain sound, they'll uh, give you a certain amount of money, depending upon how good the video ends up being. Uh -huh. and, or um, you can go live on TikTok, and people can see donations. Okay. Oh yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty crazy about well, the email. Say, I didn't, I didn't know about that. They email you. Yeah, I never heard of that. Yeah, that. 
It's pretty good. Have you ever been yeah. emailed and talked to user sound? No, I have not. I've gotten most of my money from TikTok Live. And the problem with TikTok Live is um, you can't, I, like, they would ban me for showing my collarbone. They really? banned me off TikTok Live, like, twice already. Yeah, days. I've heard people get up a lot from live stuff. So I assume stuff. that's to Bro. prevent nudity and people donating because of, like, shirtless things and stuff. Yeah, I'm yeah pretty much that's what it is. I've only earned, like, $148 from it, though. Yeah, what is that, yeah. like, currency? Oh, uh, because of Brexit, uh, the currency's really what losing Oh, my, here we go. <laughs> uh, what's, it, what's it now? It's, like, one to... 120? Oh, hang on, let me, let me Google this. Oh my god. Basically, $140, is that what you said? Yep. $140, that's probably got to be like, it's got to be like one, 120 pounds, something like that, probably. Yeah, it's 114. Yeah, yeah, it's one to 122. Jesus Christ. 122. 120 yeah. pounds. Okay, that's yeah. pretty good. I haven't claimed any of it, though, yet, because I don't have, like, any account to claim it onto. Basically. Uh, I feel like with the whole uh, what Byron said just about uh, do you not like get annoyed when people like take the piss or like do you not feel like people take the piss? Oh, I get annoyed with it. It used to, oh, well, not as much as I do now or used to. Yeah. Well, it used to happen when I first started blowing up. It used to piss me off. All the hate comments it used to like. Yeah. Extremely on it. Off. Like I've made, like there was a lacrosse kid. Right, you know that video you showed in the last video where I like threw my shirt off basically? Yeah. yeah that was a really cringy video. I now a little back on that. I was like, what the hell did I do? But. Um, a lacrosse kid made a video of that and said, "Baseball players say lacrosse isn't a, a sport, and then do some gay stuff like this." But it wasn't stuff. It was oh, I got yeah. And then that triggered me to a new level. Like I was stuck on that for like a week, and I like, he pissed me off. To I think a new I remember level. you telling me about that. I made a duet about it. I did all kinds of crap. I was triggered. I, anyways, but now if somebody were to do that, I don't really care. I know it's. I laugh with him, Matt. I laugh with whoever it is at it. I laugh with them. Yeah. And really, if you show no emotion back towards it, what do they get out of it? I feel like it's quite easy to laugh at like hate, though. Like I'm sure, like oh, yeah. I think it, it's easy now. Like... It wasn't earlier, but it, <laughs> it's it's easy now. I mean, like uh, Yen, she's got like you've got quite a following on Instagram, haven't you, Yen? To be fair, not really. Well, God. you've got you've got a decent amount of following. Ray has literally exactly ten times the amount I do. On I know, yeah, but what I mean is more than like I'd say like the average person. Yeah, yeah that's fair. So, so like I the average person in America has like, like two thousand. The past, like I feel like it's quite easy to laugh it off, though, isn't it? Yeah, but I it, guess so. Like if I see a comment that's like hateful, I honestly find it fucking hilarious. Like I'll laugh at it or I'll like I'll reply so sarcastically. I love it. It's funny. I find it too. Funny. Yeah, I get a lot of messages. Um, I'd rather from... have positive than negative, but when it's negative, it's it's like funny just to take the piss. Yeah, I get a lot so of messages from guys that are like have been hurt in the past by girls, and they think I'm just like this basic e thought. So they'll message me this massive paragraph being like, "Oh, you're just a you're just an e thought," you know, like no one likes you and you have to do this for attention and eh, like they go off and just like mate who the fuck hurt you like, <laughs> <coughs> and it's like I have the harass me like constantly every time i uploaded a picture being like you wear too much makeup you do this you need that and it was like mate you need to calm like, like, mate you just fuck off at that point just fuck off and you get I feel like, you, like you were saying, like you get like a, you can get like obsessive haters, like the one, one people or multiple people that are there all the time hating you. They claim they hate you, but they're still there. They're still yeah. watching. They're still like yeah. viewing your profile, following, etc. Like, yeah, so they don't yeah, really dislike you, then, do they? <laughs> a lot of the people that have sent me like hate messages and people who harass me, they follow me, and I don't block. The reason I don't block them is because I don't want like them to one think they've won and two mate they're following me and they're liking my shit so yeah. it's like if it's an extra like and follow, yeah yeah like it's an extra like and follow like i have six thousand followers and i get like one i get like one thousand likes a post and like you know it helps it's yeah. good you know fair play you've got six thousand followers before i go any further hmm you have six thousand followers yeah must be nice <laughs> i only have like 3600. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then you go to wait. What? God, I got, I got. And then you go to, <laughs> then you go to your TikTok, and it's just like 60k. It's just like okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. I don't have it. A lot of people say that I should make TikToks because I'd probably blow up, but I don't think. 
I, think I don't know. I think yeah, and I genuinely like. I could, think that you could make it. I could actually there. help you, but I don't know what you look like and what your capabilities are. Uh, I mean, in profile pics, it's on Discord. It's the whole know. yeah, but it's the whole being able to like do like it's weird with like TikTok. Give me over trends. Like, you can come Let's up with a really good trends. idea, but when you try and put it to the camera, only certain personalities can come out, and only certain people can kind of do it. If that makes sense. Yeah. 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 I don't also, know. keeping up with trends, being able to. See the trend early and being able to like compromise it, with yeah. nobody else. Mm -hmm. With um, with what trend, yeah. well, with what Baron was saying about the whole uh getting like, oh, the crisis. getting rinsed over it. Basically, in the oh, UK, uh, it kind of goes from how the UK and US is quite different. In the UK, <laughs> shit like that is rinsed. Like you are, like yeah. bullied for like TikTok. Yeah. In the, US, in the US, in the US, it's cool to do TikTok. Most of my followers are from the UK, and it's kind of weird. That's actually really weird. Yeah. Yeah, like really you is. know, I've noticed a lot of people on like a lot of people from the UK are on TikTok, and they follow people. But if you make TikToks, you get rinsed. Yeah. Like, uh, like that a makes lot of people in the UK won't admit that they do watch TikToks and they do Pe follow people. people like I follow people will... a lot, yeah. but I would never make them. People in the UK will watch TikToks and like I'll watch them every now and then because I find like the ironic ones quite funny. Like you know the ones that take the piss and shit. I find them quite funny. Mm -hmm. But like and other people do as well. Other people will watch TikToks and they'll just laugh at some random shit. Um, yeah. I couldn't use it for hours though. I could only use it for like ten minutes if that. Um, right, yeah, sure. But if you actually make them like over here, you're just getting rinsed. Like you are not yeah. seeing the, you're not seeing the day of light. If you make yeah, them you un if you make them unironically, you are <laughs> you're getting rinsed. Oh yeah. Oof. If you make cringy TikToks where you're like lip syncing to music and stuff, you are getting rinsed. Fuck up. Yeah, Com comedy uh, channels thrive off TikTok. Yeah, that is true. Like community yeah, channels. But if you yeah, but... blow up on TikTok, then you'll have everyone like, you know, jump on you. Um, I mean, uh, what's that like in America, trade? Like, do you go to like school and people are like, are uh, like you're cringy or anything, or is it just very much accepted where your school is? Uh, well, generally the people at my school have never liked me at all. They don't like me at all. Really, my entire county, which is oh, okay. I don't know which. Board. I don't know what y'all would make that where y'all are from. It's like a little small part. It's I mean, D seventeen. Come on, lot of girls online. Who needs who needs a real life girlfriend? You know the area. Got, uh, there's girls. a forty mile radius of where I where I'm from. Nobody likes me. It's very specific. Don't know why. I really honestly don't know why because I've never done anything to Tom. make them not like me. I've never mm. sexually interacted with anybody. Never kissed anybody, never even talked to anybody, flirted with anybody, dated anybody from my area, and they hate me. And I mean, I'm like, You can't please yeah. everyone, man. I'm saying, like, and then I go out of the county and everybody loves me. Like, I'm, I, I don't, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, one thing I found with like the US is things are a lot different over there in terms of like <coughs> what's acceptable, what's not, and then just like the random ass shit that comes out from the US. Yep, that, yep, that's it. I mean, like, for one, like, oh, no, everyone's so random over in the US, man. Like, <laughs> half the shit that goes on in the US, if that went on in the UK, you're getting fucking bullied for life, or you're getting, like, oh, you, fucking you would, like, you would not hear the end of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the UK people are, like, people are, like, uh, worse to each other, I'd say. Like, over yeah. things. Uh, yeah, whereas in America, I, is in America if they have a problem with I you, have no respect for each other like, at all. Y'all have zero respect for each other. I've noticed that y'all are just cruel. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. Everyone, oh. loads of people in the One of y'all like <laughs> seem depressed all the time because y'all like hate each other. The snakes don't have; they still YouTube channels. <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> actually, you know what? Why don't we actually quickly talk about that? <laughs> If you want to get the video to how many minutes, then we can if you want. I mean, you can just touch on that briefly. You, you got to explain your reference. What what do you, what are you implying? Right, basically, by snakes long story ball. short, big balls flying over here. Jumped in a river for a YouTube channel with 15k subs. Right, going all well, going all right. The guy who gave it to me steals it off me, gets it monetized, and then uh, dips. So yeah, that's that's. Uh... Yeah. 
I mean, that is crazy shit. I should have been like, yeah, I'm like, just get a 40 kg dumbbell. And it's fucking fixed. And that is one of those things. I mean, yeah, that's true. <laughs> when it, <laughs> when it's like social media yeah. and just like getting big and famous and stuff, the problem is like there's so many people out there who want to be famous for the wrong reasons, and they think uh, here's like a pretty good place to wrap the whole podcast up anyway. To be fair, I mean, uh, this has uh, basically just been a, a TikTok podcast, but. I can tell you guys we've got uh, episode four coming soon. Like we're definitely gonna start working on that. Like literally sure. probably after this. So. In the next three months, uh, probably. Nah, <laughs> it, it won't be as long as the last. The last one. podcast. As as the last one. Uh, a month yeah, minimum. Yeah. A month <laughs> minimum. <laughs> three days ago. No, actually, a month most. Uh, a month at most. Oh. Fuck, I said that. <laughs> a month at most. That's the insinuation of a month minimum. And yeah, a month uh, at the most, <laughs> not minimum. A month at the most. <laughs> Month minimum, yeah. So, uh, Trey, thank you for coming on and uh, being here. Can we just record it straight after this? Okay, yeah, all right then. Okay, cool. Right, so, yeah, that's right, thank you. All right, shut the fuck up. We need to wrap this up, dude. All right. <laughs> all right uh, I've got more questions for Trey. Oh, okay, oh. go on then. Hold on. He's got five, ten minutes left before the sun is down. I'm sorry. Right, anyway. uh, sorry, I need to string it together my question. I need to... Basically, guys, uh, Trey is off to go record a new TikTok, so you guys should check that out at Trey Hughes oh, yeah. on TikTok. Uh, plug that in the description. Plug uh, that. Plug that. A shameless plug. Uh, follow his Insta exactly the same. There you go. All right. There you go. Sorted. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, hang on. Hang on. Follow uh, Yen. Follow, follow Yen. Follow, follow Yen. Oh, my fucking word. What the fuck is that? You fat slam. Maybe you to come up with a fucking question well, well i had the question i just think i'll just structure it ask the question all right so how did you like initially get probably already answered i wasn't really listening how did you what? initially get famous yeah he's answered that oh, all right well, there you go that's it i'll do i'll do that Let's be honest, guys. This podcast is never smooth straight from the start to the end. Yeah, let's be honest. Why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> this is live. Why am I here? Why am I breathing? <laughs> to be fair, those questions I ask myself on the daily. I mean, we have 12 anyway, months to save the planet. I'm going to do it. it so, I mean, I'll tell you why you're breathing, Ryan, so you can... Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, we're we're good point. We, have, we have like 12 months before the world ends anyway, because no one's going to do anything, so we're all going to die anyway. Yeah, rest in peace. Right, rest in peace, everyone. Welcome to Global Warming. All right, see you in the next podcast. Bye. Are you talking about like, meteor or something? No.